We're switching it up today. We're outside. We're gonna cook like a little fried rice dish. We're gonna attempt to start a fire and cook it over the fire. I don't have a lot of outdoor skills, but we're gonna see what we can do. Um, yeah, let's get started. We'll try and get this fire going. I think that's pretty proper. Dude. This looks like a, you're sacrificing something. <laughs> Sick. I'm an outdoors guy, dude. Let's go. Oh shit. I feel like I could put a rock right here. Yeah. I mean, that looks pretty picturesque. <laughs> okay, I got some day old sushi rice that I made. You can use any type of rice, but just uh, day old works a little bit better for uh, for doing fried rice. Um, it's had time to dry out a little bit. So your old leftover rice, you can use to make that. I have a little, uh, I have a little honey garlic gochujang sauce. And then in here, I have some, uh, just some green cabbage that I charred. I just have some oil that's heated up, medium high heat. And I'm just gonna put it in there and let it go. Let it cook for however long it takes. We wanna like, all these little cut sides will blister and become all black. And we just want that. And then it won't cook the cabbage all the way through. So we're gonna do that on this side and we're gonna do it on this side until it's black. And then we're gonna finish it in the oven and then it'll cook through. It takes about 10 minutes and then that's it. You can cool it. You can like prep this ahead of time. You can cool it, you can put it in salads, you can put it in rice, you can put it in noodles, you can put it in whatever you want. Um, but it goes really, really sweet and tastes really, really nice. So try it out. Not, I guess. I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. Two. The whole cloves, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, sure, seven cloves. Um, and we're just gonna cook that, like kind of low and slow in oil. Clear. We check on our charred cabbage here. That's what we're looking for. So it's nice and black. We're gonna flip it, do it on the other side. And then if uh, you have some pesky stuff like this, you can just turn that one up. Same thing. So we're just gonna char both sides, finish it in the oven. Ooh. And I'll season it now. Now that it's got some oil on it and it'll stick. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. Maybe there's like one part soy, about half that amount of of vinegar of your choice. I use a little bit of cider vinegar. And then obviously, because we're we're wanting it to taste like honey garlic, but a spicy version is we're gonna use some honey. And I'm gonna use like a tablespoon of that. You can buy this at Asian grocery stores. Um, it usually, it will be called like, the, the translation they make it for English is usually like hot pepper paste. And sometimes they have like different, like they'll have different levels. So this is a level three. So it's like a little bit spicier than like level one. So just look at that level. If you like it really spicy, use it, make it really spicy. But this is like kind of the medium one. Um, and the cool thing is, is it's fermented. So like once you take the seal off and put it in your fridge, it like kind of lasts forever. It shouldn't really go bad. I mean, within reason, right? So I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of that as well. Once this garlic is cooked and you can smell the garlic, you can see it's like all kind of softened up. We've got a tiny bit of color, but we're nowhere near burnt garlic. We're just gonna put that in there.
yeah, that honestly tastes perfect, um, but adjust as, adjust as needed. So I would say like when you're tasting sauces like this, like I think people get really intimidated on uh, cooking ingredients that they don't know, but just pay attention to what you're putting in. So we put in sweetness, we put in acid, we put in spice and we put in salt, with the soy sauce. So what, what, you're, what you're tasting for when you taste that is you wanna be able to taste every element of that. Um, be really present when you're tasting and don't just taste it and say it's good or it's bad. Know what you're putting in there and be present on if you can taste those things or if one of those seems way too high for your tastes or way too low for your taste and just adjust as necessary. It's nice and soft, it's cooked through. That's it, you can just cool this. I mean, you can eat it right away, but you can just uh, cool it, chop it up, whatever size you like, and use it in salads, rice, anything you want. That's it, charred cabbage, gochujang sauce. Now we're gonna cook by the water. If you guys know like rice, if you cook in a rice cooker, you know that it gets that crispy bottom a little bit, but there's no like color, it's just like a little bit crispy, it kind of tastes really good. So what we're gonna do is use a cast iron pan to try and recreate that. Then we'll just eat it out of the pan and garnish it like that. Canola oil in here. So it's important to use a little bit of butter if you're going, if you're trying to achieve this. Okay, so I'm gonna put the rice down once the once the butter is kind of foaming, and we'll break it up in the pan. We want enough to fill the pan, so I think I'll use most of this. Kind of break it up, get it coated. Some of that butter and oil. So if you're doing this like over your home stove. Um, you should be able to just do this on medium heat and I would suggest because you have even heat you can just kind of leave the rice in the pan and like not touch it too much um, and it'll get really crispy on one side since like we're cooking over fire I kind of have a hot spot in the front of the pan so I'm gonna keep moving the, the front to the back and then right now I'm gonna add my cabbage since uh since the cabbage is fully cooked you don't have to worry about you know cooking it through here because we did a little prep ahead of time. But also if you're doing this at home and you want to use charred cabbage and you're cooking it all at one at the same time, you can do your charred cabbage while your rice is cooking. You can then chop up your cabbage while it's still warm and you can just put it in at the end and uh, it'll be warm all the way through. <laughs> like I'm in the zone cooking and I just completely forgot there's other people here. <laughs> and then like you see a lady being like, what the fuck is going on there? <laughs> you can mix the sauce in. I just don't want to mix it in and make some of those crispy pieces not crispy anymore. So I'm just gonna kind of do it over top. I got some herbs, uh, I forget what's in here. Parsley, cilantro, and scallion. Ton of those. Some, uh, this is fried garlic. You can buy this at like Filipino grocery stores, most Asian grocery stores, honestly. Just a little crispy garlic. A little bit of black sesame, of course. This is a Chinese style chili oil. Um, I sell this stuff on Instagram. Um, but yeah, you can use whatever chili oil you want. I'm obviously a big fan of the stuff I make. And I got plenty right now, so if you need any, hit me up on Instagram. I can ship Canada wide. All right, that's it. We're eating.